very much for the wait. This is the very first match of today's Brojo Cup. It's gonna be none other than Tony Stark versus Fujishiro. Fujishiro, who is a former Eno main, but who had, has decided to actually use Johnny for this particular matchup. Probably not fully confident with the Eno mirror, which I totally understand. The Eno mirror is not a very easy one to deal with. It can go really both ways. This is the embodiment of random play, if I might say. <laughs> So it's always nice for one of the players to actually want to have some sort of if a um how do you call it uh, a, a non-random factor in the matchup <laughs> anyways that being said both players extremely strong so let's see how this pans out fujishiro does have quite a uh, extended history playing with uh with johnny so let's see if this is going to pan out for him as well for tonight so here we go with the start of the round with Tony Stark. Wow, Tony Stark going straight with a gold burst. Goes for, ooh, and forces Fujishiro to actually pop the uh, burst out. Goes again for the dive. And Fujishiro is in using the car to get the guard break. Wow, beautiful spacing for Fujishiro. Gets the sweep. Goes for probably a fuzzy. Oh, made it so that he made him thought that he was going for, for fuzzy. Goes for the instant overhead. And gets the wall break. Let's see if Tony Stark... Ooh! Manages to get... Oh, some momentum back with a very big jumping H. Counter hit. Ooh! Manages to bait the DP. And goes for the... Um, for the uh, stroke. The big tree right underneath the, uh, the... The roll, if I might say, from uh, Fujishiro. Fujishiro, very nice uh, jump out of the corner. Tony Stark recognizing that Fujishiro was gonna go for a standing H goes underneath using the stroke and gets the kill. First round goes for Tony Stark. Let's see if Fujishiro can um, up the pace or if he is going to be uh, taken in by Tony Stark. Tony Stark ooh, fails to get that um, corner conversion, unfortunately. He does continue to get, yeah, the corner pressure goes for the wild assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice center right there from Tony Stark. Gets the gold burst. Well, forces Fushido to pop the burst. Ooh, goes for a very cheeky Roman cancel. Not quick enough to cancel it, to quick cancel it though, to get a real mix out of it. And Fushido takes this opportunity to get his turn back, but Tony Stark pressing some buttons right there. Refusing to get the mo to give the momentum back to Fushido. Here we go with the Roman cancel. Fushido popping the, uh, the yellow Roman cancel. And here we go with Tony Stark getting the first round, the first match, I'm sorry. Is Fujishiro gonna s swap for Eno? We shall see. It's, we're not out of, uh, it's not out of possibility, not out of the, of the question, but Fujishiro decides to stick to his guns currently. Let's see how this pans out. Nice conversion from Tony Stark, man. Goes straight for the wall break. Shy of damage, but definitely enough uh, reason enough to uh, to do this combo. The reason being that Tony Stark currently has the positive bonus and two bars of super right away. Goes for the stroke, goes for the juggle right there, and gonna get the wall break using the Fortissimo. We should be looking pretty bad right now, and here we go with the kill with the re jump with the perfect, nevertheless, for Tony Stark. Let's see if Fushiro can bring it back. We shall see. Goes for the delayed landing. Well, Fujishiro get... I'm sorry. Tony Stark getting hit by the 4 S right there. The 4 HS. Finally, Fujishiro getting rid of that. Ah, uh, that burst. He even manages to punish the stroke right there using the Roman Cancel. He should be able to get the wall break with the wild assault. And while the solid is, wow, what was that? And the grab for the kill. Fujishiro not out of this by a long run. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the pressure of Tony Stark. Goes for the grab and a re-jump using the jumping D. Ah, uh, yeah. Fujishiro caught pressing some buttons. Catches the um, I've heard the, the name of this uh, this move by the way. It's the um, damn it, I forgot it. QI, I think I forgot the name. I need to check it out. I'm gonna check it out real quick. You know, is my main. I do feel a little bit bad for not remembering what the name of this uh, special attack is, which is guard break, also, 
It is the, uh, the, 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 the Mad Love. I'm sorry, yeah, it's the Mad Love. My bad, my bad. Got it. The Mad Love Ajito. Ajito. And here is Rig with the jump in. And Fuji Shido putting one on the board, man. Gets the kill with that very dandy looking Johnny rocking that mustache. Well, not mustache, that beard, actually. Let's see how this spins out. And on to the third match. And Fujishiro meeting Tony Stark in the air. Making good use of the uh, Mist Finder, the Aerial Mist Finder to uh, slow down his landing speed. Goes over the stroke, gets hit by the 6 speed though. And Tony Stark this time around going for the empty low. Gets juggle, almost gets the juggle. Gets the juggle himself. Goes for a little delayed Roman cancel right there, possibly to try to bait the tension, the the uh, the, Roman, the, uh, the overdrive. And here we go with Fujishiro getting that wall break. He's gonna get the positive bonus. No means for him to get. Oh wow, wow, wow! That was awesome. Good stuff for Fujishiro getting the uh, the um, the confirm thanks to the Roman cancel. Fortunately for him, that's an unfortunate. Start of the round right there from Fujishiro using the standing H and getting stroked in the process. Oh lord! So when he struck a little bit late on his quick cancel right there in order to get a guaranteed mix up, but continues the mix in the corner, gets a guaranteed hard knockdown using the wild assault. Ooh, tries to go for an empty low and Fujishiro with the call out with the close S gets hit by the sultry performance though. And there should be enough to kill. Good stuff from Tony Stark. Staying alive. We have perfect, a perfect tie right now. One match, one round. It couldn't be rounder and uh, closer than that. That being said, Tony Stark does have the advantage right now. With not only a tension bar, which currently is completely full. He is about to get the burst as well. Fujishiro needs to play extremely... Ah, this is not looking pretty good for him. Should be uh, hit by the Wild Assault. Okay, what is Fujishiro gonna do there? He gets hit by the Ajito. Oh, Lord. Nice blocks from Fujishiro. Not out of this yet, but gets hit by the 6P. Tony Stark taking the lead 2-1. to one. Very first match of the evening, by the way. And we already have a very close one. Let's see how this spins out. And Fujishiro pondering whether or not he should swap for Eno. I think he might. Fujishiro has a very strong Eno, but decides to uh, keep his decides to keep uh, his character currently. Wow, big standing, and that did a ton of damage. And here we go to close S. Fujishiro catching Tony Stark sleeping a bit here. Gets the two S. Goes for another grab. Yo, Akimi Sabiyam. And here we go, the Miss Finer into the Wild Assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. Don't you start with the jumping? Goes for potentially a fuzzy. Nope. Decides to just put a card on the ground in order to get a guaranteed, uh, a guaranteed guard crush. Good stuff. Ça va très très bien, tranquille. Ça fait longtemps que j'ai pas streamé, du coup là, je je perds tous mes moyens. <laughs> Mais bon, ça va bien. À partir d'aujourd'hui, là, on se remet dans le bain. On va streamer demain, après-demain. On va streamer jeudi aussi, bien. On va essayer de choper le master dans Grand Blue. Et une fois qu'on chope le master, on passe sur Tekken. Pour essayer de choper au moins Tekken God. On va essayer, on va essayer. Et on est parti pour Johnny Hey, here's Johnny And here we go with the grab. And that should be enough for the kill for Zicero putting a quick one on the board as well. 2 to 2, we have the perfect tie. Good lord That is pretty crazy. And Fujishiro puts one on the board. Take a on live, ouais, grave. On le fait, on le fait, on le fait, on va le faire live. Il faut, il faut, je pense. Il faut, je veux juste le master dans Grand Blue et ensuite on passe à Tekken. Une fois que j'ai le master dans Grand Blue, on est parti. Le Tekken God, je le vois perso encore un peu loin, mais je le vois. Ok, ok. Mais apparemment, il est dur à choper. Hein. Je vais pas prétendre que, genre, je peux d'ores et déjà choper le. Euh, le. C'est quoi, c'est le dragon céleste, ils appellent ça Je me suis un peu. C'est le, le truc le plus élevé, ça c'est mort. Mais je vois Tekken God, ouais, on va essayer, on va voir ce que ça donne. Mighty Ruler, c'est nice, c'est nice. Donc on va voir ce que ça donne. Ouh, big, uh, ouh, lord, Tony Stark applying the pressure, getting hit by the close S, not enough to kill now. Fujishiro not finishing his plate, and everybody fighting with the Roman Cancel. Very nice lecture right there from Fujishiro, 
going with the bag that should not get caught by the grab attempt from Tony Stark. Big start of the round 6P and Fujishiro catching Tony Stark, pressing some buttons. Tony Stark waking up with the 6P, are you serious? What's gonna happen? We shall see. And here we go with Tony Stark again. Oh, goes for the instant overhead. Fujishiro out of his mind right there. Exactly super freaking. Uh, uh, very, very... No oh, aggressive, not enough to kill. Forces Tony Stark to pop the yellow Roman cancel though. It could go either way. Good lord. Oh man, and Fujish and Tony Spark, yo. What is gonna happen? This is going down to the wire. Six P, no six P. No. Oh, and the back dash from Fujishiro manages to take it three two. Ah, here we go. Lee, ah, yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. Sorry for the wait. <clears throat> Yo, Sora, ça va bien? Zubides. Oh, Shiro san. Karu san, gamba. Gamba te kudasai, neg. Taru san. Let's go. Ça va bien, Sora. And here we go with the corner pressure from Karu. Go straight for the overdrive. Should be able to secure that sweet, sweet heavy knockdown. Just one second, guys. Oh, damn it. I'll be right back. Tranquille, pas mal occupé, mais ça va. Ça va bien, ça va bien, on est tranquille. And here we go with the concepts. Uh, did I get the score right? Yes, I did. Here we're good to go. Yeah, I'm sorry if I don't respond really quickly. I have a couple of things I need to check real quick. Ah, freak me. Oh, damn it. That's fine, it's fine. Anyways! Here we go with the jump in from Tetsuya. Tetsuya looking pretty good. Gonna get the kill. No, a little bit too late for that. That's unfortunate. And here we go with Tetsuya getting one on the board. Perfect. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, I messed up my transition. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna need to investigate this later. Okay, here we go, the Miss Finer from Tetsuya, try to get that opening, but Karu is the first one to uh, get it, but Tetsuya gets the jump in, and even the freaking follow-up. Here we go with Tetsuya, trying to get that instant overhead, gets hit by the 2S though, This is really unfortunate for him. And here we go with the Wild Assault counter hit, Karu going all in, gets the knockdown, yo Maurice, how are you doing, I'm doing pretty good. And here we go, the close S. I hope that you're doing good as well. And Kato getting the kill with the Beyblade. Takes the first round. The first match, I'm sorry. Let's see how this pans out. Kato up one. Is Tetsuya going to be able to bring it back? We shall see. Oh, wow. Tetsuya not afraid to just freaking dash forward and get the kill and get, get the hit. Yeah, Tetsuya gets the wild assaults and the wall break. Yeah, yeah, all great. That's great to hear. Oops. That's, yeah, using your Roman Cancel to get a guaranteed card on the uh, on the ground. So, yeah, trying to uh, to invite Kato to press a button right there. And Kato getting hit. Oh, on his back dash. But unfortunately, that's, yeah, not capitalizing off of it. Here we go with that's, yeah, getting the hit with the card. See how this spins out. Ooh, almost got it right there. And that's, yeah, catching the back dash. Almost got the freaking juggle, but couldn't quite get it. Yeah, it's it by the forest though from Karu. Karu catching the backdash against with the forest. Should be able to get the wall break. Goes for directly for the overdrive. Good. Washure Yuki. Good boom. Good stuff from Karu. And goes for the wild assault. Invite. Ooh, Tetsuya to press a button. 
getting the freaking burst from Tatia and Tatia unfortunately getting hit by the clone. Loses that first round from the second match. This is really unfortunate for them. Hmm. And here we go with the freaking ooh pressure in the corner. Oh, good lord. Ah, oh, this is looking pretty bad. Ah, oh, and again, Tatia catching that bag dash, man. Good lord. And again, man. Caught catching again. Getting ca caught again by Tetsuya. Good stuff from Tetsuya getting that second round as well. And here we go. Wow. Now, nah, unfortunately for Tetsuya, getting hit by the forest. Should be able... Yeah, Karu should be able to get that wall break. Couldn't quite use any resource. What, well, didn't use any resource to try to secure the hard knockdown, though. And Tetsuya just content to a zone, but getting hit straight with the Beyblade. You hate to see it. And even on a trade, Karu getting the freaking follow-up goes all in. Unfortunately, drops a combo, but it's still fine. Catching Tetsuya. Oh, trying to get out of the heat. Tetsuya dropping a combo too. And getting hit by the own 4HS of Karu. Karu up 2-0. to zero. Let's hope that Tetsuya can do something to bring it back. As for now, it's looking pretty good for Karu. Not going to lie. And here we go with the close-up pressure. Good lord, kaboom! Washure Yuki for you, sir! Good lord! Big, big, big damage right there for Kata. Looking pretty strong right now, not going to lie. And this is a wrap for the first round. <clears throat> and on to the next battle. Big freaking 6P right there from... Karu definitely ooh, on a roll right now. Trying to catch that backdash with the 4HS. Uh, again, man, with the cards. This time around, Tetsuya gets a deconversion. Goes for the instant overhead and should be able to get the wall break. And does. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh, goes for the freaking empty grab. And Karu not ready to stop it, though. Yeah, this time around, Tetsuya going low, but Karu aware of it. Karu and the freaking neutral jumps landing straight on top of Tetsuya. And what the hell was that? You hate to see it. The Wild Assault. The, the invincibility frame of the Wild Assault made it. So that Karu could go to be paying attention, unfortunately. I am a very dumb and I apologize. That being said, we are on and going on to the next battle. Let's see how this spins out. Uh, yep, we're good to go. Uh, one second, guys. I'm gonna check a couple of things again. I know you. Uh, yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good. And yeah, about it. Um, rocking none other than Biken, actually. So we have uh, some Biken representation today, not going to lie. Which is always good, if you ask me. Biken, here we go. Not the only Biken who's just playing tonight, by the way. Uh, how come on? I think we have another one called Megane. And who is currently in the... Winners... Where, where is them? Uh... Yeah, Megan is on the winner's side of the bracket. But their next match is not going to be streamed. And they are fighting against Karu. So it might be a little bit hard for them. But we'll see, we'll see. We never know. That being said, Goron bringing it back and taking the first freaking ma the first freaking round, that is. Definitely no slouch. Let's see how this pans out. And Goron having the corner pressure goes for the aerial grab. The reflexes are definitely there. Goron bringing in the heat. What is Barrel gonna do? Goron extremely patient. Ah, Barrel funny. Oh, Lord! You hate to see it. Straight into the overdrive. Goron not wanting to take any chances. Goes and catches Barrel. But it trying to get out of the pressure by jumping and getting hit by the aerial skull. You hate to see it. Like it needs a non super uh, gun for real, for real. Like. Happy chaoses. <laughs> that being said, here we go with Barelu. Goes for the corner pressure. Goron getting out of the corner. And unfortunately, side switching right there. 
This is bad news for Baledu. Getting grab looped in the corner. Again, man. What is this? Wow! Baledu getting it versus... Oh, this is not gonna... This is... It, this is gonna combo. Damn, that was sick. And freaking going on with the call out on the grab attempt going for a back instance over uh instant air dash punishing barrel's attempt to try to grab him that was sick wait grab doesn't proc the purple stuff anymore i i don't think so it never really did i think i think it never did pretty sure it never did and here we go with oh going on with the cross up Getting hit by the standing feet though. From it, but it, but it looking pretty good. Close for the wall. What is gonna happen? Wow! Flying biking. Flying Barret. <laughs> good stuff from Barret. Manages to take the freaking uh, second round of the second match. Let's see if he can continue in this uh, endeavor. And if he can take the second match. These things are looking pretty bleak, not gonna lie. But it is the... Yeah, it's just the star. It's fine, it's fine. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, but it in the corner. Viking does have a pretty nice damage output. It's pretty explosive. Things can go down really quick, but... Yeah, things are looking pretty bleak, not gonna lie. The stubby normal of Viking is probably a problem in this matchup. Definitely not gonna lie. And Goron taking you with the perfect, by the way. Second match between Goron and Baredu. Let's see if Baredu can bring it back. Last chance for Baredu to bring the explosive Viking uh, to the win. We shall see if this happens. Very nice use of the Tatagami Gaishi to get rid of the Skull, by the way. But yeah, nah, Baredu noticing that he was going to get 6 speed. Oh, Lord, again, man. Going on with here to air. That was sick, not going to lie. And Goron, ooh, going for the... Uh, I forgot the name, the Arbiter, yeah, the Arbiter. Oh, Lord! Going on, trying to read. Oh, Lord, this is gonna do a lot of damage. But it with the freaking pressure, goes for the low, straight into the overdrive. Get the hell out of my face, boy. Get out of my face, boy. Good stuff from Baledu, goes for the low. Ooh, ooh. And Baledu with the jumping S right into the Roman cancel with the follow up for the kill. Manages to take the first round of this third match. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh, we go the far S, man. Testament's far S is a very, very, goes very, very far. You need to be careful with this, especially if you plan on backdashing quite a lot. And here we go with the cross up. Yo's on sand. Ooh, no, that was a really. Oh, no! What is Goron doing? Goron just mixing himself up. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Or unfortunate Goron. Okay, Goron using the yard very well. Goron trying to get out of the uh use oh, wow in the way Kabodra! Kaboom! Boom! Get out of my face! I'ma cut the moon! Good stuff from Burrell. Finally puts one on the board. We almost have a match. One more match in favor of Burrell, and then we have a tie. Play is gonna be the game. <laughs> Good lord, my throat. And here we go with Goron. Try to go for a safe jump right there using the teleportation for a setup. And oh, Goron getting caught by the uh, what's it called? The Shibari. Oh, oh, yes, this is the thing, by the way. Thanks to the new update, you can combo after having Shibari your uh, your opponent. Oh, good lord, using the Ozon Sent to delay their fall. Noticing that they were gonna get- No! Oh, lord. Thank goodness Barrel did not get punished right there. That would have been catastrophic for him. Here we go. Time for zoning. Nice Ozon Sent. A little bit too late to get the punish. Woo! And gets the cross up. It is... It is ongoing. Kabari to catch the back dash. And here we go with the Shibari. Almost got the kill now, Barrel. Barrel. What are you doing, Barrel? Oh no! Not like that! Not over! Not over! Here we go! The yellow room and Could have gotten it maybe with the Yozon Sin! No, with the Yozon Sin with us, but still recovers in time in order to deliver the finishing blow. Good stuff from Barrel! Getting a full combo! I didn't even know that was a thing! That is sick, by the way! Oh, that was so ambiguous. 
even Goron didn't know where the what the hell was happening. And I think that Barrel also wasn't quite sure. Anyways, here we go with the Yoda's outfit! <laughs> oh, no, no 6P. You hate to see it. And here we go, back to the zoning game. Booty. Oh, good lord. Here we go with the jump in and the close 6P. Oh, no, it's just gonna kill. No, too far. Too far to get the Kabar in the kill. Man, this is a freaking comeback, man. Oh, lord! Not enough to kill. Just wanted to get the... One hit is all that is needed. And the Yoda's on set for the kill. Kill! Vanenu putting one more on the board! Good lord! We have it tied, ladies and gentlemen! Yeah, let's see how this spins out. Is Vanenu gonna be able to bring it back? Straight, uh, how do you call it? The, uh, reverse 3-0? That would stick, man. <laughs> let's see how this spins out. And here we go with the Arbiter. Big Arbiter right there. From Barrel, wanting to get the jump in. Good lord, no, getting hit by the aerial skull. Goron looking pretty good. And here we go with the close-up pressure. Goes for the freaking wild reversal. And the delayed resumption. <coughs> Badeiru fighting for his life. Oh, and getting grabbed. You don't want to get grabbed right there. Unfortunately for them, this, this is looking pretty bleak. Yeah, this is going to be dead. Yeah, it's going to be dead. Good stuff from, from Goron. We cannot take this away from him. Good stuff from Goron. On set point, is Badeiru gonna be able to bring it back? Oh lord! Goron not afraid to freaking just go straight ahead. Wants to keep Barrel in the corner getting the... <gasps> no! Okay. At least the burst was fine there. Ah, getting hit by the Arbiter. Things are looking bleak. Goron definitely unleashing the beast. Getting the grab, this should be enough. Good attempt from Badeiru. Good, very good performance from Goron. Take them. And uh, as you can see, he is currently going to rock, uh, what's his name, Axel, and not Nagoro Yuki, probably specifically for this matchup, by the way. And by the way, uh, thank you for the follow, Dead Squirrel, and welcome to the bro, Joe. Okie dokie, breads and cookie, let's see how this pans out. And uh, yes, uh, in uh, normal times, Mugi would be rocking Nagoro Yuki, but he does deem this matchup extremely unfavorable for Nagoro Yuki, which is the reason why he is uh, popping that very mean Axel right there, who is supposedly, uh, well, at worst, well, at best, a positive matchup for Axel, at worst, an even matchup for him. So yeah, uh, that being said, as you can see, <laughs> Capri doesn't give a crap about character matchup and that just runs a uh, steam, a steam train on whoever is his, their opponent. So let's see how this pans out. And here we go with, oh, Caffeine getting hit by the Abar and waking up with an overdrive. And this is the end for the movie. <laughs> Good stuff from Caffeine getting the first round. Extremely convincingly, not going to lie. Let me check the bracket real quick, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to be sure that everybody is being catered for. Hopefully it is. And uh, it is the case. Perfect. We have no complaints. Today is officially a very smooth tournament, and I am pleased. That being said, here we go with Mugi. Ooh, catching that bag dash with the Wild Assault. Should be able to get the kill with the actual Bomba. Good stuff from uh, Mugi. Let's see how this spins out. Now to the next battle. Goes for the Rainwater and catching the 2D from Caffeine. Caffeine, that being said, not out of this yet. Using the pesky little minions to try to uh, push Mugi in the corner. Mugi getting hit by the uh, far edge right there. Well, the far S, I'm sorry. And also the aerial grab. And Caffeine going for another grab, getting the juggle also. Straight into the overdrive for the kill. First match goes to... Or yes. <laughs> Goes for Caffeine, 1, 2, 0. It is definitely not looking completely one-sided, but, well, Caffeine does have the lead right now. So, it is what it is. It's definitely not over till it's over, though. And round start with the 2D on block by Mugi, getting the punish and forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. Uh, Caffeine going on with a slight disadvantage right at the start of the second match, but nothing that cannot be overcome. And Mugi getting hit by the aerial minions twice in a row. Third and immediately in the corner. Mugi forced to pop that uh, yellow Roman cancel just to get out of harm's way. Caffeine nice confirm on that uh, standing H right there. Forcing Mugi to also pop the burst. That being said, Mugi is in the corner currently. Using the tornado to get 
Guaranteed pressure straight into the wall splat and the wall for the kill! Moogie putting one round on the board, taking uh, this current match's lead, not this set, just the match. So let's see if Caffeine can bring it back. Caffeine using the minions, but getting hit by the, uh, by the cycle on, uh, <coughs> on block, which makes it so that the minions disappear right off the bat. And, ooh, Moogie getting hit by uh, the 6P. Having a uh, first-hand experience, <laughs> Caffeine is extremely hard to jump on. This man will never let you jump on him. And here we go with the Sickle Storm. Pressure, Moogie getting a counter hit with the Jumping H. That being said, Caffeine using the little pesky minion to keep the pressure on going. Big 2S counter hit right there from Moogie going with the Sickle Storm. And almost getting the jump in, but gets the kill with the snare. Moogie puts one on the board. One, two, one. Let's see how this pans out. Is Caffeine? Yes, Caffeine is definitely going to stick to their guns. Never have, have I ever seen them use another character than Jacko. So it would surprise me if they actually did. That being said, it is not a bad thing. And on to the next battle. Caffeine looking pretty good right now. Already forced Moogie to pop the burst. Oh, but got hit right there and was forced to burst themselves. And here we go with the close-up pressure. Moogie trying to beat that uh, tech attempt from Caffeine, but Caffeine not biting. Resorting to using... Ah, uh, using the minions. Trying to bait Moogie to uh, punish them, by the way, by using the uh, point guard, the guard point. And here we go with... Oh, the rain water. Yeah, getting a... That was an unfortunate side swap, definitely not wanted from Mugi and Caffeine on the verge of getting hit by a negative penalty. Unfortunately succumbs to the uh, pressure of Mugi, but reads that freaking aerial attempt uh, approach from Mugi and gets a grab of their own. <coughs> and here we go with the wall break. And on to the next battle. Mugi currently with the lead. Uh. Right, ooh, successfully getting the hit right there. Gets the jump in into the grab. Does not have the health lead though. Caffeine definitely looking pretty good right now. Has a ton of resources, a little bit of a life lead as well. But not. Yeah. Oh lord. And Moogie with the Roman cancel to delay their fall. Didn't get the uh, entire though. And here we go. It is. It is minion time. Caffeine getting the 2k, man. Catching Moogie trying to get out of pressure's way. Good stuff from Moogie. Moogie going ever so slightly. Does not want to overextend. Gets the standing. The tab does into the Roman cancel for the kill. Moogie taking the lead 2 to 1. <laughs> the rain water. Yeah, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it on purpose. Yeah. Sorry if uh, I don't do it perfect. I don't say perfectly. I do try to do my best, though. The rain water. <laughs> And here we go with Axel with the rain water. <laughs> I just like doing it on that particular move. I don't know why. Anyways, here we go with Axel. No, oh, going for the rain water. And again, trying to get the jump in, pushing Caffeine ever so slightly in the corner. The water. It's <laughs> exactly that. Here we go with Mugi and the Axel Bomber getting the wall break. Just the pixel of life left. Oh, and Mugi getting hit by the grab and the fake cross up as well. Forcing Mugi to pop the burst. And back to Sickle Storm and the 2P for the kill. Mugi on set point. Is he going to be able to take it? We shall see. And here we go with the tornado. <laughs> the tornado, sorry. <laughs> Again with the, rain, with the double rain wall. Finally gets the opening from on the opponent. Ah, and the caffeine out of harm's way gets the juggle. Gets the corner pressure. Pops up two minions. Wants to continue the pressure. And Moogie, man, with your bar getting out of the corner. Gonna get the freaking follow-up into the overdrive for the kill. Moogie sends the caffeine in. Chat to me, take a look at this. What I must have to do. えっと、待ってくださいね。えっと、皆さん、皆さん、皆さん。えっと、はい。そっちね。オッケーです。あ、はいはいはい。えっと、ちょっと待ってくださいね。うん。えっと、ちょっと。
<笑>え本当だえっ、ー、とそうですねありがとう大感謝でございますこれなんでおかしいですね負けたことになってるああわかりましたブチギレさんああわかりました了解ですはいじゃあはいはいはいいやすいません僕も確認してませんでしたはいじゃあえっ、ー、とブチギレさんが3でえっ、ー、とメガネさんが0ですよねじゃあはいえっ、ー、とはい修正しました一応あもともとそういう結果えちょっと待ってくださいどういう意味ブチギレさんがあはいはいはいえどういうことちょ,ちょっと待ってくださいねえどういうことうん、えっとね、待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。OK、OK、OK です。はい、<笑>はい、これで多分大丈夫です。多分はい、これで多分 OK です。そうです、ごめんなさい。えー、主催ありがとうございます。はい、了解です。はい、これで、えっ、ー、と、おそらく大丈夫かと思いますえっ、ー、とそうですねじゃあメガネさん、えー、ルーザーズで頑張ってくださいねよろしくお願いしますうん<笑> OK です Everything fineOKAN、okay, コーヒーで takes the、uh, second round actuallyGood <笑> lord I cough a lot again is that the season again I think this is the hay fever season coming right up my my bung hole <笑> I freaking hate the hay fever I'm probably gonna be affected by it Uh, that being said, okay, so this is Kohida versus I get a roll good. Okay, okay, bro. Then Koki, sorry for the wait. I have a little bit of an issue in uh, the brackets, uh, well, in the bracket. Right now, it should be solved. I'm just gonna check the rest if everything's fine. Yeah, I think it's fine now. Everything should be okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ayo. <laughs> Uh, okie dokie, and here we go with Kohide not getting the kill, but still getting the kill though. Till his turn at the end of this onslaught, manages to get the first match very nicely. First match goes to Kohide. Let's see how Ayara manages to bring it back, we shall see. And on to the second match. Ayara, ooh, Ayara popping the golden burst, and Kohide with the freaking confirms kills on the, <coughs> on the, um, on the minions. Was for the save jump. Goes for the uh, spiral arrow. Midi catch it, gets the grab for the side switch to keep Hagiara in the corner. And Hagiara, ooh, getting a pretty nice freaking side switch while doing the aerial combo and the confirm. Very nicely done. Goes for the tap dust, Roman cancel, and to the wild assault for the, uh, for the hard knockdown. See how this spins out. And Hagiara getting the cool. Getting the bait on that burst straight into the overdrive. Not gonna kill. Oh, yes, gonna kill. I'm really sorry. Yes, it is definitely going to kill. Good stuff from Hagira. Takes the first round of this second match. <laughs> And on to、uh, the. Oh, freaking. Oh, Lord, the 2D. This is so unfortunate. <clears throat> Big 2D counter hit. Hagira couldn't、uh, actually optimize off of it, unfortunately. Very nice city right there from. Wow, Gohida waking up with the overdrive. Does not want to let Hagara run a steam. Does not want to get steamrolled by Hagara. And Hagara answering in due form with a wake up overdrive of his own. <clears throat> And here we go with the standing H catching the back dash attempt from Gohida. <clears throat> And wow, Gohida getting hit by the minion. Straight into the overdrive for the kill. Uh, Lady Scrap, thank you very much for the raid. Much appreciated. I'm really sorry for the wait. I should have told you this way before. I didn't realize. I just realized right now. Anyways, here we go with Hayara.、Uh, putting one on the board as well. See how this spins out. And wake up. And the freaking golden burst right there from Hayara. Perfectly timed on the wake up. <coughs> Big six p right there. Hayara getting the side switch as well. And the four. S counter hit as well. Kohide using the dash potential of. Oh, a freaking g e o m a n a gets the counter hit and the juggle. This is gonna do a ton of damage. Oh, fails to get the end juggle. And here we go, the jump. Hayara popping the overdrive. 
He's a freaking aerial overdrive from going against the hit and the kill in the process. Well, he did going up one round for this third dash. What is Hagata gonna do? Hagata with the correct spacing gets the opening, puts one minion on the floor. Three minions right away. Big freaking playoff kick right there from Hagata. Gonna get the wall break. Look at the damage though. Wow. Probably due to the uh, the raise of <laughs> the uh, what's it called the um, I read the bar, the risk bar. And again, Kohide going for the grab. Definitely inviting Hagata to press a button right there. Goes for the low. Hagata out of the corner. Goes for the grab for the side switch. And the freaking minions are there to secure the kill. Hagata up. Well, actually, putting this is perfect. Perfect tie right there. One round, one match. Kohide taking a bit of the health lead, actually, with the grab. Currently has the pressure in the corner. That being said, Hagara made good use of the wild reversal right there to push Kohide off of his face and catching him. Backdashing with the 2D. <clears throat> and we're back to neutral. Kohide with the air to air. Goes for the... Ooh, again, the low. Hagara caught uh, standing right there. And this is going to do a lot of damage. Boom. Kohide with the positive bonus. Again with the 2D right there. Straight into the Roman cancel. <laughs> Good use right there of the reversal from Hagiara. Hagiara goes for the grab. And it's back for some more pressure from Hagiara. In the corner, he has one bar straight into the Elysium driver for the kill. Hagiara up two to one. What is Kohide gonna do? Kohide in Dire Straits right now absolutely needs the two next matches, if he wants to say, in the winner's side of the bracket. <clears throat> okay, just checking uh, here if everything is going well. Everything is going okay. And here we go with, ooh, Hagiara getting the hit in the playoff freaking loop in the corner. Good lord. We go the Roman cancel from Hagara, probably trying to catch Kohide, either uh, dashing or back dashing. Either way, dashing, that is. Kohide with the save jump. Definitely aware of the. Wow! A Rana Sante right there. Rana Sante counter hit. Into a pretty nice combo right there with the Ventania finisher. Try to go for the uh, fuzzy setup. Wow! Good stuff from Kohide. Kohide getting caught by the 2D dog. Oh, wakes up with the overdrive. You hate to see it. Good stuff from Kohide. Manages to uh, get the first round of this fourth map. And back to the freaking mouse and cat game. Kohide managed to uh, make Hagera pop the burst right there. Nice confirms from Kohide and optimization station as well. Gets the hit off of the Troval. I do believe it's the Troval. Or the Sepultura. I think it's the Troval. No, it's the Sepultura, definitely. The Troval is the cannon drill, I think. Let me double check. Yeah, I need to get these uh these these freaking names correctly. It's the Troval. No, it's the Sepultura. Okay, got it. Pretty good. And here we go, the wall break of Hagara using you all the salt. Hagara going for the close S, getting the 2K into the 2 D straight into the Illusion Driver. Hagara on set point. <coughs> what is Kohide gonna do? He absolutely needs this round if he wants to stay in the winner side of the bracket. Try to go for a whiff punish. But Hagara too quick on the recovery. Things are looking pretty good for Kohide though. Managed to get Hagara in the corner. Hagara reading the grab with him, backdashes straight and catches Kohide. Hagara with the bar again, man, doesn't let up, wants to keep Kohide in the corner. Kohide forced to pop the uh, yellow room and cancel. Big delayed simple turn. Is this gonna hit? It is. Good lord, Hagara not afraid to wake up again, man, with the freaking overdrive. And here we go with the wall pressure. Oh, I get it going for the tap. That's Roman cancel and sends Koshiden the loser's bracket three to one. Battle.
Mindre versus Ibushi getting lower. Let's see how this spins out. <clears throat> oh, Kidoki breads and Toki on to the next battle. And BJ already sending Roy in the corner, man. Not giving him a single. Ah, hi. Eto Shiaki ka. Ni. Hi, hi, hi. Ah, hi, hi. Wakari mashita. えっと、<笑> さん、1で当てむさんの勝利でいいですかね。大丈夫です。あ、1、3で。あ、わかりました。了解です。はい。了解です。はい。オッケーです。はい、了解です。じゃ。<笑> 今日お疲れ様でした、アテムさん。ご参加いただきありがとうございます。了解です。ありがとうございました。お疲れ様でした。And uh we ourselves are moving on to the next battle. I'm sorry I still had a I, I had a little bit of a bracket issue right now but everything is solved. And here we go end up for as well the success actually. Down a hit for Roy. We're actually down one game by the way. BJ looking pretty good. Good lord, and manages to take the first match off of none other than Ibushigi Roy. Let's see how this pans out. BJ definitely looking pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. Okie dokie, Brad's and Cookie, and here we go with the wall break. And the positive bonus for... Oh, Lord! Roy doesn't care. Roy doesn't care. Gets the kill. Let's see how this pans out. Never underestimate the power of a good DJ, exactly. And here we go with... Oh, Lord! The side switch right there. That was pretty nice. I'm gonna lie. Wow. Roy with the freaking dash into the close S, man. That being said, BJ, look at this. Look at this. Try to beat that DP, by the way. Ooh, yeah, here we go with the guaranteed setup into the tap dust, but BJ did not go for the extension. Gets the closest and the miss final for the kill. And here we go with the third round of the second match. Things are looking pretty good for BJ, I'm not gonna lie. BJ with the freaking... Oh, no, he gets hit by the vortex, you hate to see it. And Roy with the follow-up for... H4, the freaking counter it, it did a ton of damage. Good lord. Wow, BJ, man, with the dash into the freaking overdrive confirmed. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, Bandit Bringer, this one is not gonna be punishable. All Roy needed is one hit. I sense a vortex. Nope, it is a forest counter. And Roy, Roy freaking baiting the burst right there. Puts one on the board, we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. We have a game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this spins out. <laughs> and on to the next battle. Big 2D counter hit. Start of the round for Roy. Tries to go for another 2D and, ca and gets it. Definitely wary of the dash potential of BJ. And we, here we go with the mix-ups in the corner for more. Roy getting grabbed right there right after a back dash. From BJ, BJ goes for the instant overhead and catching uh, Roy blocking low. That being said, Rigo with the trade in favor of Roy. Goes for the bandit. Oh, the bandit revolver mix ups. Straight into the grab. Roy looking pretty good. Good lord. And here we go with the freaking pressure, man. And the volcanic viper for the kill. Roy takes the lead one round to nil. Let's see how this spins out. Man, Roy with the 2D, man. Roy definitely 
using 2D to its full extent right there, catching BJ, trying to dash forward. And this time around, BJ, man, with the somersault straight into Roy's 2D. Big Miss Fighter right there. Wow, that's 6P though! And Roy going for the extension station. Definitely wants the positive bonus plus the added damage. <coughs> Goes for the safe jump. BJ again with the somersault. Gets the jump in. Goes for another freaking somersault. Roy not pressing any button. Bit Bandit Bringer and ooh, the trade in favor of BJ. Good lord. Ooh, the jump in. That could have been it. And BJ, ooh, almost got it. And the big vortex. What is going to be? In one hit is all that is needed. And Roy puts one on the board. Another one, actually. Two to one. Takes the lead. <laughs> Let's see how this spins out. And on to the next battle. Okay, BJ trying to encourage Roy to press a button. Nice punish right there of BJ straight into the uh, Wild Assault. Good stuff from BJ. Gets the corner pressure. Goes for the tap dust for Roman cancel. Nice decent damage right there. Won't get a hard knockdown though. <coughs> wow, nice air to right there from BJ. Gets it by the 2D. Uh, big Bandit Bringer and freaking Roy with the follow up DP, man. Not giving an F. Yep. Nice box right there from BJ. Gets it by the forest though. Oh, and not freaking overdrive BJ getting baited. Uh, Roy dropping the combo. Uncharacteristic, but gave him access to some more damage. And the uh, Tyrant Ray for even more damage and the kill eventually. We are on set point. Is Roy going to be able to seal the deal? We shall see. Big Miss Finer catching the back dash from Roy. Let's see how this spins out. Big 2D again, man. Roy definitely looking out for these. Nice confirm off of the Miss Finer from BJ. Should be able to get a pretty nice combo with the Walbury. <clears throat> what is Roy gonna do? Big Miss Finer again. Nope. Ooh, nice back dashes, man. BJ looking pretty good. That being said, Roy is not out of it yet. Here we go with the Bandit Bringer, straight into the Wild Assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. Let's see how this spins out. Uh, nice blocks right there from BJ. Goes for the instant overhead. And Roy getting hit by the Somersault. And on again for the set point. BJ definitely looking <coughs> out for these 2Ds. Nice 6S from Roy again, man, with the dash. And the forest man for the with the confirms, man. Roy not letting anything go. Yeah, this is looking pretty bleak for BJ, not gonna lie. And here we go with the same job. Ooh, Roy almost baited that uh that wild reversal. Big 6P counter uh big 6S. Roman cancel into the wall break. Let's see how this spins out. And the success, man, again for the kill. Roy wraps it up. You're right. Okie dokie, sorry for the wait. And wow, man, are you serious? I get a popping the freaking overdrive out of nowhere. Literally out of nowhere. But Nage was onto it. Goes for the teleportation station. And here we go. Wow, got the freaking bait. But couldn't quite capitalize off of it. That was a sick Roman cancel by uh, Nage, by the way. Attempt, that is. 
And here we go with the grab from Hagiara. Manages to get the first uh, the first kill, by the way. <clears throat> and back to the neutral. Nage making good use of the far-reaching neutral uh, neutral moves of Faust in order to dispatch and to get rid of uh, the minions. <clears throat> and here we go with the playoff kicks. Straight into the wall splat and the wall break for the positive bonus. And here we go with uh, the corner pressure. Nice grab again from Hayala. Almost got the bait on the burst. Things are looking pretty bleak for Nage, who gets scooped by the 2K and 2D. For a perfect, by the way. Hayala looking pretty good, not gonna lie. <clears throat> First match goes to Hayala. <clears throat> Nage definitely struggling right now. Let's see how this spins out. Nice jumping right there from Nage. Getting hit by the 2K. <clears throat> Nage using minions of their own. The battle of the minions. <laughs> I got unfortunately getting scooped by the 3k right there. And good lord. What is the schmix? Ah, Lloyd landing right on top of the minion. Good lord. How many freaking little fouls are there? <laughs> hmm. And big counter hit from Nagi should be able to get the kill and does. First round of this second match goes to Nage. On to the third, uh, actually the second round of this second match. Nage getting scooped by the 2K2D, but fortunately for him, he had drawn Meteors, which uh, prevented Hagira from extending their combo. And look at the damage. That did an F terminal of damage right there. Look at the damage. Good lord. Nage looking pretty good right now. Oh, it gets grabbed though. You hate to see it. I gotta be a little bit too, uh, too greedy right there. What, tried to go for a uh, second grab, but yeah, Nagi was definitely looking out for it. <clears throat> and back to the zoning game. I gotta trying to push Nagi in the corner. And we have the bomb. Nagi going for the, oh, the aerial approach. It's the freaking minion while the yeah, you hate to see it, man. <coughs> the guard point, the bane of everybody. Here we go with oh, Nage going for the tap dust for the kill. Nage, man, manages to take it from the skin of his teeth, man. That was really, really a struggle right there. A struggle fest for Nage. I get a with a very, very strong defense, man. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go with the the spear. Ah, nice grab on the trumpet right there from Hagera, who incidentally was able to get out of the corner. Ooh, Hagera baiting the burst right there, not giving the positive bonus to Nage, by the way. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Oh, big 2D counter hit from Hagera, man. I get it with the freaking close up pressure straight into the Forever in Legion driver. Not for the for the kill, actually. I lied. Good lie. I didn't think it was gonna kill him. That was crazy. Good stuff. And on to the next battle. Oh lord. Now you with the freaking jump in into the grab. The command grab, that is. Close up pressure. The wick is gonna explode. Here we go, Nagi with another afro. Puts fire to it. Keeps the pressure going. Little Faust is out. And good lord, Nage tried to go for a tap dust, man. What the freak is this pressure? I got a force to pop the burst to get Nage off of his back. And here we go with the close up pressure. <clears throat> nice juggle from Hagara. Good lord. And Hagara, man. Looking pretty good. Uh, but doesn't have a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of health left. It could, however, go south pretty quick for Nage if he gets opened up. But Nage being the solid man that he is, managed to get the second round of this uh, third match. Nice use of the spear from Nage. 
and gets to jump in. Good lord. Again, the meteors. Nage opting to uh, not go for the side switch and for in order to keep Hagiara in the corner. Good, nice stuff from Hagiara. Uh, I get a backdashing one, one too many times right there, getting caught by Nage. And again, man, the 2D, the god move. I get a getting the jump in into the grab, getting the side switch. Is that it's not gonna kill? Thank goodness for Nage. Was saved by the re the lack of resilience of the wall. That being said, Nage only needs one hit. Nice block from Hagara. See how this spins out. Other minion is out. And Hagara getting this freaking cross up into the Roman cancel for the kill. Hagara taking the lead 2 to 1. Let's see if Nage can bring something back. Here's to hoping Jacko's meter gets the Dato Druid, but man, hallelujah, man. I really hope it's the case as well. I don't think it's ever gonna happen though. Oh, I don't know actually. Jacko is uh is considered yeah pretty strong in Japan, so it's not out of the realm of possibility, if I might say. But yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Jacko is really strong. <laughs> Very annoying to play against too. Like the the what's it called the bar could not be there at all, and it wouldn't change anything. <laughs> it recovers so quick, it doesn't mean anything, like this. And whether it's here or not, it really doesn't mean anything. It serves no purpose, really. But anyways, it's fine, it's fine. We'll see. And here we go with Nage, man, trying to find the opening and already ate quite a bit of, uh, of Hagiara's health bar and manages to get the kill with the bomb, the head bomb. Okay, Nage not out of this quite yet. It's gonna be a pretty uphill battle, though, to bring it back. Unfortunately for Hag, yeah, well, thankfully for Hagiara. He's catching Nage, pressing some buttons at un unfortunate mom moments. <coughs> nice wall break from Nage. Nage with the freaking dive kicks right there. Finally finding the opening. Ah, Lord, and the pressure is real. Nage going for the command grab. Here we go with the safe jump. Ah, Nage using the freaking teleport in order to keep I gotta end the corner. Nice use of the guard point, which has a, a freaking long lasting hurt box. It's crazy. Hate box. Good lord, Hagia with the delayed gold burst. Wanting to keep the freaking. Yeah, sacrificing a minion in the. Oh lord! And the freaking teleport! Uh, -uh. too far to get anything substantial! Lord, I get it! They're gonna get the kill! Lord, and the yellow wind cancel and the grab for the kill! Nage, putting one on the board again! Off topic, but are you playing? What are you playing uh, these days? Oh, I was playing. Uh, I played a, a shit ton of games these days. I played Pal World, I played. Um, I played uh, Valhalla, which is the DLC of uh, what's called of God of War. I played uh, the Plague Tale Requiem that I finally finished, and now I finished everything that I needed to finish. So I'm gonna be back on fighting games. The reason why I played all of these solo games is because I was um, I was sick for such a long time. <laughs> I had the tonsillitis. I don't know how you call it exactly, but I had this for like two weeks. Then I. I I got a random cold like the week that followed, the week that I finally was cured from the tonsillitis. So basically I had one month, one straight month where I was just ill all the time and I couldn't do anything. I did, I couldn't stream because my throat was dead and I couldn't go out because I couldn't, you know, uh, I couldn't really uh, risk, uh, how do you call it, infecting other people. But now I'm better, uh, I'm feeling better so I'm gonna go back to streaming uh, and having a, a normal a normal life, if I might say. <laughs> and with that being said, holy freaking lord, Nage on set point, yo. Omnia Slash, how you doing, bro? Heard the God of War DLC was great. Oh, I see, you had a single player. Yeah, I did. Oh man, that sucks. So yeah, we call it tonsillitis, yeah. Glad to hear you feeling, yeah, I'm feeling better now. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> sorry. 
I'm gonna play fighting games uh, all week long. Well, actually, all week long, and as long as I don't feel sick again. So this week, I'm doing the Brojo Cup. Then on Friday and... Uh, not Friday. On Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm gonna stream Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Gonna try to get the Master Rank. Because I'm S++2 right now, so I... I need, like, literally just two more... Uh, two more ranks, and then I'm, I'm good. And after that, we are going to stream some Tekken 8, baby! <laughs> gonna try to make it to Tekken King, but I don't... Yeah, I, I don't really know if it's gonna be possible or not. But we'll see, we'll see. I just wanna... I would just wanna stream some Tekken as well. But yeah, definitely. All the while uh, doing the uh, Broder Cup, so that is the plan on the channel! Yeah, we have a lot of uh, good stuff coming on, yeah. Sorry for having been uh, ill all these uh, all these days, by the way. I didn't stream at all for like one one straight month, I, I think. So my apologies to all of the viewers, but now I feel a lot better. I can actually stream and play fighting games. Wow, <laughs> that ping pong game was sick, by the way. And here we go with Nage with the jumping, getting the kill. Nage sending. But I want to learn. I want to learn. I finally want to learn how to get good in a uh, 3D fighting game. So we'll see how this pans out. For now, I'm just, you know, learning, playing really, really smoothly, not, you know, not... Um, I'm not 100% committed for now because I still want to get Master and Grand Blue Fence Versus, so I'm still allocating some time uh, playing it. But uh, once I'm done with the Master rank in Grand Blue, I'm, yeah, I'm moving to, to Tekken. I want, I want a good rank in Tekken. I definitely want one. So we'll see how we uh, we do, yeah, definitely. I hope it's gonna be okay. Anyways, man, look at this Moogie, man, just jumping all around the soul and managing to get the kill. Good stuff from Moogie. So let's see how this spins out. Nice whiff punish from Moogie, man. Getting the wall break, kaboom! With the six HS. <clears throat> so let's see how this spins out. Ah, Moogie trying to get the two, uh, two HS. Again with the 2 HS. Yes, the forest though. And Roy with the Fafnir getting caught by the grab of Moogie. You hate to see it. And uh, Moogie not overextending. Trying to go for a command grab after the Roman Castle though. Oh, this is looking pretty good. Not enough to kill. Good lord. Let's see if. Oh, Roy getting hit by the freaking 6P on his 6S. You hate to see it. First match goes to Moogie, 1 to 0. Let's see what Roy is gonna do. We are in the winner semifinal, so it's fine. Even if one of them loses today, they still have one more chance in the loser's bracket, so it's definitely not over till it's over. Big delayed bandit bringing right there from Roy. Gets the run up grab. And here we go with the close up pressure from Roy. See how this spins out. We're almost getting the whiff punish. Goes for the MT low. And here goes the juggle. Roy with the wall break. Gets the kill with the 6 HS. Good stuff from Roy. Let's see if Moogie can bring it back. Well, he is currently in the lead, so it's fine. Nice spacing from Moogie. He gets the whiff punish on the bandit bringer. And gets the wall break. Half of your life already gone, sir. Goes for the wild, the white, uh, wild assault. For the punish on the back down. And Moogie waking up with Wasade Yuki. Say no, I don't want to deal with your. They probably gonna go for the CA extension. Absolutely not, actually. Like that. Oh lord, no six speed right there. Probably wary of the bend bringer. Who almost got the wall bounce. That would have been pretty good for them. Oh, big 2 HS. Roy forced to pop the burst. We're probably gonna... No, not even pop it. No, yeah, this is it. And this is gonna be death. Good stuff from Moogie, man. Putting one round on the board as well. If he takes this one, he will be in the lead 2-0, which would be absolutely great for them. After this match, I'm gonna be go real quick and grab a glass of water. My throat is acting up. Not in a tonsillitis type of way, I reassure you. Just in a... Ooh, my friggin' throat is... Uh, dry as hell type of way. Anyways, here we go with Moogie and the wall break. Moogie with the positive bonus. Gets hit by the forest counter hit though. 
here we go, the close-up pressure. Roy getting the wall bounce. Gonna get the Tyrant Ray for the guaranteed hard knockdown. Otakua, Hirane! Oh, and the wake up overdrive, of course. <laughs> Roy knowing that Mugi was gonna wake up and goes for the delayed 6 HS for the kill. Roy putting one on the board, we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be right back. Big perfect for Roy right now. That was pretty good. Nice spacing from Mui. Gets the forest counter hit. Uh, the forest uh, punish, actually. Hmm. And the Roy with the delayed bandit bringer manages to get the jump in. Mui with the command grab. Oh, Mui waking up with the golden burst. Good lord. Here we go, the close up pressure. Boogie with the clone, wanting to catch Roy, pressing some buttons, and Roy answers with the DP, of course. Nice back dash for that, that was sick. Ah, uh, Moogie forcing Roy to pop the burst, and this is gonna be a mix. Roy with the Volcanic Viper extension station, not enough to kill though. Are we gonna see a 6 HS? No, we don't. Oh no! Almost, I thought he had the back dash right there. And Roy going for a regular throw for the kill. Good stuff from Roy. Roy taking the lead 2 to 1. Is he going to be able to send Moogie in the loser bracket? We shall see. Good lord. Big delayed bandit bringer yet again. <clears throat> And here we go with the jump in from Moogie from Roy. Oh, by the way, we have our top eight right now. Decided it's gonna be the top eight is Nage, Hagiara, uh, Roy, Moogie. We then have in the loser bracket, Caffeine, Goron, and then we have Karu and BJ. This is our top eight. So basically, Faust, Jackal, uh, Sol, Nagoriyuki, Jackal, Testament. Then we have Nagoriyuki again and Johnny. This is the top eight. Good lord, here we go with the freaking command grab. We are going down to the wire. Moogie definitely not wanting to go to the loser's bracket yet. And again with the command grab. Big wake up DP from Roy. Good. Good. Are you serious, Roy? Waking up with the DP, man. Not afraid. But Moogie not afraid to apply the pressure. Goes for the 6 HS for the wall splat. And that is a lot of damage. Let's see how this pans out again with the delayed bandit bringer, man. Ah, Roy with the extension station. Goes for the volcanic viper. Big 2 HS. Mugi trying to go for the command grab, getting hit in the process, though. Good stuff. And Roy moving on to the set point. Again, here we go again, man. Roy just content to be in the air. Moogie tried to catch his back dash with the standing S, but it didn't quite, uh, didn't quite reach, unfortunately for them. Oh, good lord. Big Beyblade right there. Wow, and the 6P, man, on the wake up forest from Roy. And Moogie straight into the Watsuda Yuki. Not enough to kill, but definitely enough to mentally damage someone, if I might say. Trying to bait that uh, wake up DP, though. And the Beyblade for the kill. Moogie, absolutely wonderful uh, performance right there from Moogie. Manages to put one on the board again. Let's see how this spins out. <coughs> Big Beyblade counter hit. Roy forced to pop the burst. And the jump in from Roy. Let's see how this spins out. Big 4S right there from Moogie. Gets the closest counter. The closest. 
catching Roy for pushing some buttons right there. Straight into the Wasune Yuki. Boogie with the wall break. Let's see how this spins out. Base the DP. Good lord. Boogie looking pretty good right now. Goes on to the set point. Is Roy going to be able to bring it back? Roy definitely needs to be careful. And Moogie going air to air. Oh, gets the punish of the Bandit Bringer. Look at that. Moogie definitely adapting to the, the rhythm of, of Roy right now. Looking absolutely unbeatable. The boom. Let's see if Roy... Oh, he's going to do something. Moogie catching Roy, man. That being said, it's not over till it's over. Air Roy is in the house, y'all. Look at the freaking corner to corner combo and the damage as well. That was some sick damage, bro. Who catching the bag that Shen Moogie takes it? Three to two, it went down. Caffeine versus Goron. So Caffeine, very strong Jackal player versus Goron, extremely strong Testament player. We don't see them very, very often, but when we do, it tends to be very, very interesting. Yo, Zom, how you doing? Good evening, bro. Long time no see. And uh, here we go with the start of the pressure from capping already escorting. Goron in the corner. Yeah, and here we go. We are in the corner and Goron has no other choice but to block or get open by a tap dust. Finally forced to top pop the burst. So let's see how uh, Goron is going to deal with this pressure. Very nice use of the TP right there from Goron. Oh, almost got hit by the cross up too. And it is a starting tab dust into the Roman cancel for what I believe is going to be the scale. Yes, it is. Good stuff from Caffeine takes the first, uh, the first match. What is going to be Goron's answer? Caffeine going for the safe jump. Oh, big six P right there from Go Caffeine, getting two P, uh, getting two D this time around. And Goron with the corner pressure, catching Caffeine, pressing some buttons, and forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. See how this spins out. Good lord. Oh lord, and the standing is counter hit. Goron definitely looking pretty good right now. And catching Caffeine, standing up right there. For the kill. Goron putting one on the board as well. Lord. Oh, Goron almost getting the grab though. <laughs> and we're back to the neutral. Goron trying to get rid of, of the minions and rightfully so. Gets the crow, goes for the air to air. Man, that was sick. Yeah, forcing Caffeine to press buttons right there. Oh, gets the shimmy and the bait on the burst. This is going to do a ton of damage. Good luck! Boom! 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 Get hit by my freaking... I don't even know, the succubus! Good stuff from Goron! Takes the lead! <clears throat> I, I told you guys, man! Goron is no slouch, extremely strong testament player. Probably the strongest testament player in Japan. Probably, wouldn't even surprise me. This dude is so strong. There we go with the delayed grab attempt from Goron. Ah, oh, big forest counter hit right there from Goron. Ah, uh, gets rid of the minion, but Caffeine is right. Uh, after that, trying to... Yeah, catching Goron, actually. Right in the midst of his uh, of his move. And here we go. It is a minion time, but Goron just casually jumps out of the corner. Thankfully for him. Oh, that being said, Caffeine is relentless right now with the pressure. Yeah, I guess the kill while Goron was still in the air. Let's see how this spins out. Is Goron going to be able to bring it back? Ooh, catches the bag dash with the forest though. Here we go with the lockdown using the skulls. Goes for the TP, tries to bait. Caffeine to press a button, but Caffeine, man, extreme. Ooh! Ooh, this is gonna hurt! And here we go, we're going to the corner, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Good stuff from Goron. Gets the grab. Couldn't quite get the kill because he didn't have the ruin cancel, but still has the kill. Well, he 3 0'd FAB and loses. Ah, oh, yeah, man. To be fair, uh, to be fair, I think that, um, I think that, uh, Potemkin is the only favorable matchup of Testament. To be fair. <laughs> to 
So yeah, but yeah, yeah, he's no slouch, yeah. I mean, you cannot like 3-0 FAB and, and, and be guarded. It's just not, it's just not possible. Anyways, here we go with the jump in Goron. Looking pretty good right now. Goes for the TP, but Caffeine was aware of it. Goes for the aerial grab. And Caffeine with the uh, grab RC for the kill. Puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. A match. Mm, let's see how this turns out. And on to the next battle. Oh, definitely not. I mean, the, the zoning potential of, of Testament is actually one of the best in the game if you really, really know how to do it well, you know? Of course, Happy Chaos has the best, obviously, because it's a point and click, but Testament is really good at locking down their opponent, like, mid-screen and, and preventing them from doing anything. Even in the corner, they have pretty decent, uh, um, what is it called? Pretty decent, um, pressure. So, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, they're definitely like low tier though, I think, Testament is, but uh, a good Testament can be absolutely horrible to play against. <coughs> Anyways, here we go, the grab, very nicely done by Goro. Oh, gonna get hit by the Elysian Driver, boom. Boom! Oh, okay, here we go, the close-up pressure from Caffeine. Trying to find the opening. Oh, Lord. Goro getting hit. Getting hit after his... Reverse, uh, his wild reverse, unfortunately. And Caffeine taking the lead, though. Oh, well, no, actually, we have a perfect tie. What am I talking about? Nice little profile there from Caffeine using the 2k. Oh, big 4s counter hit straight into the forever illusion driver. Driver! Look at the damage, too. Good lord. <coughs> the thing isn't over yet. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> okay, and here we go with the... Wow, the guard point, man. What a genius Caffeine is and should be able to get the kill. Absolutely not. I lied. And the minion catching the bag dash from Goron. You hate to see it. Caffeine up 2-1. to one. Is Goron going to be able to bring it back? <coughs> Good stuff. My stuff. So let's see how this spins out. Good lord! And here we go with the close-up pressure from Caffeine! Trying to- Oh lord! Perfect timing for Goron to actually pop the reverse. Oh my man! Getting hit again by the Legion Driver. This has been absolutely horrible for Goron. Absolutely not expecting Caffeine to do this. <laughs> and this working out perfectly for Caffeine. Wow, good lord! Using That was a very interesting uh, choice, which worked out for Goron. That being said, here we go with the jump in from Caffeine. Getting grabbed though, this is this can be the start of absolute... Oh yeah, this is gonna be death. Straight into the 31, or the 21 was it? Sati 1, I think it's 31. Oh, big 2D counter hit though. And again for the 2D map. The bane of Goron. The, the bane of plenty of a player. Oh, here we go with the 2k 2d again. Goron just casually trying to... Yeah, trying to get out of the corner, but getting grabbed in the process. Uh, it is minions a time, and again with the air grab. Caffeine catching Goron, sending a wee bit too, too quickly. And getting perfected in the same fashion. Holy freaking lord. <coughs> Let's see how this spins out. Good use of the skull right there from Goron trying to dispatch the minion, but man, that guard, that freaking point guard, guard point is definitely playing a number on them. Big Allegiant Driver is going to do a ton of damage. Goron look in dire straits, not going to lie. I think Testament, uh, this version is low middle tier at worst. At least that's what I observed watching great players like Goron and CGM and IDOM in the US, among others, yeah. Yeah, the recent buffs definitely help, but yeah, the, the character is still lacking in a lot of departments, unfortunately. Definitely not tournament viable, I think, in my opinion. But fun to play. That is definitely, at least the character is fun to play, I feel. But yeah, the yeah they, they're lacking in some department, not gonna lie. That being said, look at that and Goron, man, fighting for them lives and they should do. 
Caffeine taking it. A clean 3-1. to one. Go to battle. It is a pretty nice and correct assessment indeed. At least the character is fun to play, though. I, I believe it is a great. So let's see, is it going to be Kado who wins or BJ who wins? You cast your vote, you, well, you don't really decide, but you can, you can bet and, and win more points. Anyway, heaven or hell, Kado versus Johnny. Here's Johnny. Let's see how this spins out. <coughs> Sorry for the call. They're still a likable and unique character in me. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okie dokie, the battle of the samurai, if I might say. Even though, yeah, Johnny isn't technically a samurai, but he does use uh, a samurai technique, which is called the Iaido, which is basically uh, taking the taking your sword out of the scupboard, you call it? The scupboard, or the, the thing that houses the, the, the sword, and this makes it so that the sword comes out extremely quick, quicker than if you just swang it uh, as it is out of its scubbard, I think you call it scubbard. Is it scubbard bone? I feel like I'm saying something dumb. Scuffbird? Scubbard? What? Is it a scub? Scabbard? No. How do you call it? Scubbard. I have no idea how you call it. Yeah, a, oh, a scabbard. Okay, here you go. Scabbard. I got it. Yeah, a scabbard. Mm. Uh, so, if I'm not mistaken, BJ is a legacy Johnny player from the- Oh, really? Okay. I think I've seen his name from the uh, classic 3 vs. 3 XX tournaments back in the day. Okay, in which case, I'm actually pretty happy. I have another uh, prominent uh, player in my tournament. Because today, if you look, today we have a ton of killers. I'm not gonna lie, we have a heck ton of killers. We had... So we had FAB, we had... Uh, we have... Mugi, uh, wait, let me update the, uh, <laughs> the scoreboard. So yeah, we had a ton of killer today. Uh, Mugi, Hayara, Usijani, uh, ABGRG, FAB, and Eto, Nage, BJ, Megane, Kohide, Roy. Proto-chan, who is a very strong, uh, what's the, the name again? A very strong, um, damn, I forgot the name, uh, LMG player. Amato, very strong crossbow as well. Atemu, no, we had a... And Caffeine, Goron as well. Today we had like a ton of killers, man. Oh, it's stack as hell, man. I have no idea who's gonna win it. But for now, in the winner's bracket, we do have... Uh, Nage versus Mugi. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, two extremely strong players. Yeah, the, the, the freaking bracket is stacked as hell. This is very, very nice. Um... Okay, yeah, Butchigire, let's go! And here we go with the corner pressure. Good lord, and Kadu ends up taking it. Very nicely done. BJ definitely overwhelmed by the aggression of um, of Kadu. White Wild Assault won over Johnny Su. Yeah, yeah. White, White Wild Assault has a very long lasting invincibility frame. So it goes through everything until uh, the attack becomes active. So all during the. Um, the startup frame, it is invincible. You can throw it though, but it is invincible for all of the startup. So it is going to outlast Overdrive if he holds it up up until like the last possible frame. So yeah, White Wild Assault is very strong. <clears throat> and it also uh, guard breaks, by the way. It's it's kind of really dumb, yeah. White Wild Assault is definitely very strong currently. Anyways, here we go with the, ah, the freaking... Yeah, White Wild Assault again. Here we go with the jump in though from BJ. Getting hit by the... Oh, the close HS though. Hate to see it. Straight into the Wasude Yuki. This is going to do a ton of damage. Big bodies needed, I guess. Yeah. I think it could do, it could do without the, the guard break, personally. But, wow, it is what it is. Anyways, here we go with the Miss Finer. BJ finding the opening. And here we go with the freaking... Overhead, man. He's gonna do a ton of damage. Why is he gonna do some damage? Not a ton, though, but at least BJ has the um, hard knockdown. Try to go for grab and gonna get command grab in the process. Big yellow Roman cancel and BJ getting a kill at the end. Even though he used. Oh, I'm sorry. Even though he used the. Uh, he used the. Um, uh, what's called the. 
Wild Reversal. It's not the, the correct name, by the way, but I call it like this because it's easier to remember. Anyway, here we go with Kato and the freaking Command Grab Loop. Kato not giving an F. Getting the kill. Good lord, Kato on match point, by the way. Well, set point, got it. Big start of the round with the DP from Kato. And again, man, with the wall splat cut. Boom. Kato doesn't care. <laughs> there he goes for wild, wild Assault. BJ should be able to get yeah, burst before dying. And he did. Ah, that was a big gamble, though. Okay, well, thankfully for Kato, at least, uh, he had, like, uh, an additional uh, tension bar in order to make it safe. And here we go with the Miss Finer. Big combo from BJ goes straight into the. There's Johnny! Yep! Boom! Got it! And what is gonna be the mix? Oh no! Kato with the freaking. Oh, not like this! Dun, dun, dun. And you did! Kato moves on to the next battle. Battle, battle, battle. Ibushigi Roy versus Caffeine. Let's see how this spins out. Caffeine, who uh, is getting near the 10,000, level 10,000 in the game, which is absolutely crazy if you think. Okay, anyways, on to the next battle. Okie dokie, on to the battle. Caffeine finding the juggle, gets hit by the wake up DP though. <clears throat> Oh, almost got hit by the, uh... Again, man, and the reversal from Roy. Roy doesn't care. Nice recognition right there from Caffeine. Cannot capitalize, though. And Roy going air to air. Catches Caffeine out of the air. Gonna get the wall break. And on to the next iteration. Nice. Uh, from Roy. Goes for the roaming cancel extension. Should be able to get the kill. And does. So what is Caffeine gonna do? We shall see. Big 2D right there from Caffeine. Gets the juggle with the minion but drops and gets hit by the vortex of Roy. Forced to pop the burst and gets the corner pressure. Things are looking mama okay for Caffeine. Ooh, miss the burst. Should be able to get a pretty decent punish right there. Straight into the Forever Legion Driver. Not enough to kill obviously, but look at the damage. Good stuff. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Roy just casually running towards uh, towards Caffeine. That was hilarious. Good stuff. Okay, one round apiece. No punish right there from Caffeine. On the whiff to Bandit Bringer. Nice counter hit from Roy. Gonna get the corner pressure. But Caffeine resorts to using the Wild Reversal. Fortunately for them, Roy got a pretty nice corner combo. Continues to apply the pressure and this should spell death. First badge goes to Roy. Let's see if Caffeine can bring it back. We shall see. Big counter hit start of the round in favor of Caffeine. Already forcing Roy to pop the burst. Roy again with the wake up DP man. This man knows no fear. And here we go with the close pressure. Nice with punish from Caffeine. Gonna get the juggle. Straight into the overdrive. Go! Boom! Driver! Let's see how this spins out. Oh, Lord! And here we go with Caffeine. Goes for the guard point, but no one was home. Ah, Caffeine forced to pop the overdrive because he knew that Roy was going to go for the very ambiguous setup, the bended revolver setup, which he's going to go for right now. Well, no need, actually, since he found the opening. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Good lord. Good lord. That was a hell of a lot of damage. Good stuff. Roar, Caffeine, though, gets the kill with the minion. And on to uh, the next round. Caffeine still down one match though. 
Ah, Roy going for the grab. Ooh, big six spear right there from Cafe. Tried to bait the bur the the wake up the DP though. But yeah, Roy not biting. <laughs> this is gonna do a lot of damage. Not enough to kill. Here we go with the safe jump. Nice grab again from Roy. And puts another one. Ah, oh, actually, uh, puts one round on the board. Oof. Good lord. And here we go with Caffeine and... Ooh, the block on Vortex. <coughs> Caffeine getting the wall break. Let's see how this spins out. Lord, Caffeine backdashing for their life. Get the punish on the freaking burst. Is that gonna kill? Straight into the Elysian Driver. This is gonna kill, right? Nah, it's... Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Good stuff from Cafe. Puts one on the board. That was a sick extension, by the way. Good stuff from Cafe. Head on to the next battle. Mm. Domination. Elgin Cafe. Ooh, finally forcing Roy to pop the burst. Roy just content to dispatch the minions as they come. Wow, Caffeine went for the freaking instant overhead using the blue Roman cancel. And Roy was still capable of blocking it. That is crazy. Good stuff from uh, Roy. Well, from Caffeine, actually. Taking, the per taking it with a perfect, too. But still, the block capabilities of Roy was extremely good. Ah, big forest right there from Roy. Baiting the... Overdrive right there. Gonna get a huge combo off of the standing HS counter hit. Guaranteed hard knock down there. Roy going for the save jump. Goes for the low. And probably Caffeine is not gonna pop the burst there. Roy taking a V. Well, actually, uh, putting one on the board as well. Gets the jump in. And here we go with the jump in from Caffeine. Goes for the, uh, the the ambiguous setup. You don't know if it's in front or behind. Ooh, and Caffeine again with the bait on the freaking burst. Caffeine has been extremely good at it today. Could have went for the Roman cancel right there. Extension to get the guaranteed kill, but still got the kill regardless. Caffeine taking the lead 2-1. to one. What is Roy going to do? What are you going to do, Roy? Let's see how this pans out. Okay, here we go. Roy going a little bit less crazy. <laughs> okay, not changing anything, actually. <laughs> well, I mean, DPing is like the trademark of Roy. Extremely un, uh, conditioning, uh, uncondition, unconditionable uh, player. Will DP if he feels like it, whatever the situation. You cannot condition uh, Roy, it's crazy. Anyway, that being said, Caffeine with the huge life sleep right now. Definitely. Oh, Lord. Roy trying to go for a Vortex. Unfortunately for him, Ca Caffeine was not available. And here, wow, beautiful spacing from Caffeine. Not enough to kill, though. Ah, yeah, Roy getting a bit impatient. Kind of going for oh lord this is exactly the type of move that roy absolutely needed look at the damage not enough to kill but one more opening should be enough to oh lord almost got the bait on the dp not enough the, 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 the reversal and here we go with roy getting the air grab goes for another grab and should be able to get the kill roy with the comeback that was sick great comeback from roy Tried to go air to air right there, but Captain was a little bit too early on their decision right there. That was a crazy comeback, man. As expected from Roy. Ah, and Roy getting the freaking shimmy. Is that gonna kill? I think it is gonna kill, guys. I think it is. Yes, it is. Good lord. Roy putting one on the board. Two to two. We have a game 
Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. Let's see how this pans out. We go with the throw. Oh Lord. Big burst right there from Caffeine. <clears throat> wow, gets to juggle with the minions. Wow. Roy not afraid to just freaking just solve things, yeah. That was a ah guilty gear moment. It was definitely a ah, guilty gear moment. Nice freaking conversion from Roy. That combo was sick. See how this spins out. Here we go with the jump in from Roy. Wanting that close pressure. Very courageous 6 p 6 p right there from Cafe. Cafe definitely wary of. Ooh, Lord. The uh, burst and Cafe just. Just throwing that overdrive out. Manages to get the hit. Also getting the safe jump and the juggle not enough to kill. I hope it's not going to come back to bite you in the butt, though. The things are not going great, but here we go with the grab from Caffeine. Gets the kill. Okay, we are going down to the wire. For now, we are uh, match point in favor of Caffeine. What the hell was that? We're with the jump in. Caffeine backdashing because afraid of the tech attempt from Roy. Goes for the fake cross up, manages to get not only the fake cross up, but also the bait on the burst. Straight into the Forever Illusion Driver for big damage and a hard knockdown. Still, Cafe not afraid of the DP and manages to get the kill. 3 2 2. Then, ooh. Yeah, I need some water, guys. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. And here we go with the kill from Hagela using the minion as a projectile. You could have a loser semi Jacko mirror. It's definitely a thing. It's definitely possible. It all depends on uh It all depends actually on who? It depends on uh, It depends on Cutter, yeah, definitely. It does, it does. All of the hopes. All of the hopes of the Nagoriyuki are on Karu's shoulder right now. He gets the aerial grab though. And gets the standing AS for the wall splat. See how this spins out. Oh, big 2A chest right there from... Karu goes for the command grab for the kill. Good stuff from Karu. Looking pretty good, not gonna lie. He has full, ball, uh, full burst. Well, hat full boost. He doesn't have it anymore. And here we go with the freaking blocks right there from Agala. Ah, oh, no. Not like this, Kato. Shake my hand. No. Oh, getting hit by the minion and this is going to be death. Yeah. Agala easy. Oh, no. Agala actually freaking. Yeah. This is not what you wanted. This is not what you wanted. Yeah. Because right now, Kato does not. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Nice Abari from Hagala. He was on the verge of having done something very, very bad right there. That would have been crazy, man. Anyways, here we go. First match goes to Hagala. Wow, what was that? Wake up, fully charged burst of dust from Karu. Not afraid of, every of, of anything. Gets jumped in, though. This is unfortunate for them. And here we go with the close-up pressure from Hagala. Getting the 2k right there. Gonna get the wall break. Big 2s. Right there from Hagera. And gets the kill. Hagera taking the lead right now. One round, one match. Definitely not an easy matchup for uh, for, for Nagori Yuki. And I think that Mugi can vouch for that too. 
Big grab right there from Hagera. Haru, unfortunately, not on point with his uh, meaties. And here we go with the close up pressure. Ah, Karu getting open straight into the Illusion Driver for more damage, preventing Karu from even bursting. See how this spins out. Here we go with the closest pressure. I get out with the relentless pressure, man. Looking pretty good. Goes for the tab dust straight into the. Elysian Driver for the kill. Good stuff. From Hayara. Takes the second match as well. And a pretty definite lead. 2-0. We are probably going on to a uh, Jack O'Meara semifinal. <laughs> That's pretty much guaranteed now. But we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, Karu is going to bring a miracle. The miracle of Christmas. Oh, good lord, here we go with the 2k 2d. Oh lord, and the closest, and here we go with Kato with the uh, significant amount of damage right now. Not enough to kill, unfortunately. And what's gonna be the Okizeme? One hit is all that is needed. A regular 2k for the kill. I get I'm not expecting uh, <clears throat> Kato to just go on the offense right there. Oh, big overhead. And again, man, Kara, who's gonna explode, by the way. But still, thankfully, he exploded right next to Hagera. Goes for the tap dust, and this is gonna do a lot of damage. Not enough to kill. Oh. And Kara finding the opening. Puts finally one on the board. Are we gonna watch a comeback? That would be hilarious. That would be pretty funny though. Oh, okay, let's see how this spins out. Big uh, burst right there from Karu trying to get I get off of his back. And on to the next battle. Haru with the 6 H right there. Goes for the very, very... Ooh, suffocating pressure in the corner. Calling Hagiara out right there, but gonna get hit by the Elysian Driver, unfortunately for him. Good pressure right there from Hagiara. Trying to find the opening. Gets the freaking uh, playoff kick. Counter hit. And the tab dust into the Roman cancel for the kill. Agara is on set point on the verge of eliminating Karu from the tournament. Nice Abari 2P right there from Hagara. Tried to go for a fuzzy, I believe. Couldn't quite uh couldn't quite get it though. That being said, ah Karu trying to take his distance from, from Hagara. Yeah? But Hagara not letting them do so, just going straight right after them. Into the Illusion Driver, yeah, this is looking pretty bleak for Kado, not gonna lie. See how this spins out. Here we go with the close S. Ah, uh, Kado forced to pop the burst, and this is a wrap. Clean 3 2 nil for Hagara Nage versus Mugi. Let's see how this spins out. Is Mugi gonna be able to send Nage out of the tournament? We shall see. This is the winner's final. We currently have about uh, three, four, three or four remaining matches on tonight's tournament. So the winner's final, then the loser's semi, the loser's final, and then the grand final. So uh, four to five match, actually. Depending on whether or not we have a reset in grand finals. Okay, and that being said, look at Mogi finding the opening. Already trying to get the juggle with the uh, command grab of of uh, Axel. Okay, nice blocks for Mugi though. That was pretty hard to block, not gonna lie. Good 6p2. I think we are out of songs. Are we? No, we're not. Okay, good. Okay, first round goes to Nage. He did pretty convincingly. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go, Nage in the 6p, getting the corner positioning. Gonna go for it. Hey, oh lord. Pretty nice setup. Got the banana as well. Go straight into the overdrive. 
He's gonna do a hell of a lot of damage. Nagi with the heavy knockdown. Goes for the... Ooh, the jump in. Ah, Mugi with the rain wall. A little bit too far to get the hit, though. And the kill for Nagi. Taking a pretty quick first match. On to the next battle. And here we go with... Right, I think I did see him play Axel once. Yeah, yeah. He does play uh, Axel against the... Uh, against the... Uh, what's it called? Against uh, Jacko, usually. As soon as you see Jacko, usually you're gonna see him. Well, you're gonna see his Axel. Uh, as soon as you see Jacko, you're gonna see his Axel, yeah. Anyways, here we go with the perfect, man. Things are looking a little bit better right now for Moogie, not gonna lie. And here we go with... Ah, uh, the white wild assault. Good lord. Big 4 HS right there from Moogie. And Moogie going for the 2 HS. Good lord. Moogie with the cool S. Yeah, Axel definitely a good choice. Yeah, definitely. It goes through the minions and goes straight towards uh, Jacko, so easy to get rid of all of the things that separates them, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I kind of want to have a sub as well. Because, um... Eno versus Jacko is really hard for Eno. So I kind of uh, am wondering what type of good sub would be for the Jacko matchup. But I really don't know which. Anyway, that being said, here we go with Wow Mugi with the steamroll, man. Ah, good blocks and go straight for the command throw as well, man. That was sick. Good stuff from Mugi. He's got the corner pressure. When Nagi going for the freaking almost instant dive kick. That was sick. And here we go with the jump in. Boogie forced to pop the burst though. Nice closest from Nagi though. Uh, Moogie tried to go for the air to air, or I suppose the aerial grab, I'm pretty sure. And here we go with the 2S counter hit. Wow, that 6P though, that was pretty sick. Again, man, with the dive, Nagi getting the juggle. Let's see how this spins out. And Nagi getting the wall break straight into the overdrive. <clears throat> Good stuff from Nagi, gonna get the heavy knockdown. Goes for the 2S counter hit. Forcing Moogie to pop the burst. And Moogie going straight for the full screen Beyblade counter hit. He's going to do a lot of damage. <coughs> oh no, he couldn't quite get the 6 HS. This is unfortunate for them. And Nagi, man, using the teleport to seal the deal. Puts another one on the board. 2-1. to one. <coughs> Takes the lead. Is Moogie going to be able to bring it back? We shall see. We shall see. And here we go. The Beyblade Moogie. A little bit too far to get the conversion. Well, the, the follow-up uh, DP for the juggle. Ah, Nage man. With uh, the cavalry. Hitting Moogie in the corner. Ah, finding the opening. And goes for the freaking juggle. Look at the damage. Look at the damage though. Damn. Ah, uh, nice air to air right there from Nagi. Getting command grab right on his way on the landing. And it's time to guess. This is gonna do a lot of damage though. And boom, yeah, this is over. Yeah. Here we go with the command grab. And Nagi getting the kill. That was, yeah, full commitment from Mugi. We are on match point for Nagi. Let's see how this spins out. Boom! And here we go with the white wild assault. Big 6P counter hit from Mugi. It's gonna get a pretty decent amount of damage. Into the Wazuri Yuki. Boom! Look at the damage. Hmm. See how this spins out. Mugi trying to get a reaction from Nage. A little bit too uh, late on the confirm off of the 2S. <coughs> we go with the weight. Oh wow! You yeah, just see it. I think Nage canceling, uh, Roman cancel a little bit too early. 
Three with the corner pressure. Big counter hit in favor of Moogie. Moogie not out of it yet. Definitely does not want to, yeah, to go out in that fashion. Goes for the command grab. <coughs> I'm looking getting hit right there by the bar of Nage. Nage with the confirm straight into the spear. And the follow up golf club. <coughs> we go with the mix, mix, mix. Nage keeping the pressure on. Big wild, white, white wild assault again to go through the hammer. Moogie getting in the corner position and goes for the double Fukio to prevent Nagi from waking up before he... Well, in order to get his Okizeme. And Moogie forces Nagi to pop the burst. Ah, uh, Meteo is here. Meteor. Uh, this is looking pretty bleak, not gonna lie. Nagi probably going straight into the overdrive. Not enough to kill, though. This is match point, by the way. If Nagi wins this one, he sends Moogie into losers. Mugi only has one more chance. Here we go with the yellow room, the golden, uh, the golden burst. Ah, and the freaking die for the kill. Nage. Reds and Cookie, this is the loser semifinal. We still have two more matches hmm. before the end of today's tournament, before the grand final, actually. Well, yeah, one more match, two more matches before the grand final. And this is the Jacko Mirror, of course. These two have played against each other for God knows how many times. We have seen this mirror so many often, so many times, but it's always a treat to see them play against each other. Last time, I do believe Caffeine took it. Let's see if Hagera can uh, get his revenge this time around. As for now, uh, Hagera is currently in the life lead. But Caffeine just took it back right now. Let's see if I can get out of this pressure. Really not. <coughs> nice, uh, nice centaurs right there from Cafe. Goes for the Roman cancel, gets the counter hit, and there should be enough to kill. First round goes to Caffeine. Caffeine definitely very proficient in the mirror. Probably more so than Hagera. <coughs> yeah, Caffeine knows the uh, the matchup in and out. And I think this is what really condemned uh this is what warranted uh, Hagera's defeat last time that we saw this matchup. And here we go with the jump in, man. Caffeine taking a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice lead, not gonna lie. <coughs> okay, no 6p right there. Caffeine again with the jump in, man, has been the bane of Hagera ever since the beginning of this match. Is it enough to kill? Straight into the Illusion Driver. There should be enough to kill. Driver! Boom. Caffeine takes the lead. 1-0. to zero. Let's see if Hagela can manage to bring it back. We shall see. And on to the next battle. Big 4S counter hit right there for Caffeine. Right at the start of the match. Ah, good lord. Nice 6p from Hagera, but man, Caffeine's defense, man, not taking any risk, really going in when he's 100% sure his moves are going to hit. This has been really, really working well for him. However, he got scooped right there by the 2s, the 2s. Uh, <clears throat> nice, uh, nice use of the Roman cancel and the 6p as well from Hagera, scooping Caffeine out of the air. And we're back to the neutral. Nice 2P from Hagera. Uh, sending one of the minions in orbit. And almost getting the freaking... Yeah, looking for that. For that yellow room and cancel. Nice use of the minion, man. To prevent Hagera from being in prime position to attempt to uh, entire him. That being said, Hagera took the uh, lead on this particular match. Let's see how this fans out. And minion it is. Good 2D counter hit from Cafe from Hagera. Uh, Hagera almost on the verge of getting the burst as well. We go to safe jump. Caffeine pushing. Hagera ever so slightly in the corner. Let's get the corner positioning, but Hagera does have a full burst gauge. <clears throat> nice sweep right there. Caffeine straight. Going straight. Ah, I'm sorry. Hagera going straight for the Elysian driver.
And hey, Legend Driver, you tried to. No, good lord. Caffeine and Sering exactly in the same fashion. Goes for a safe jump. Tries to beat something. Fortunately for him, I got was very patient and pressed the button at the opportune moment to punish. And you're going to 2D. Straight into the Roman cancel, and Ayala takes the second match. Good stuff. Let's see how this fans out. On to the next battle. Okay, big. Ooh, big 2K right there. Ah, good lord. We'll go with the close up pressure from Caffeine. Caffeine get, getting hit by Ayala Stan K. HK. HS. And man, I got with the just blocks, yo. Got hit by the uh, the just the um, the guard point though. And nice spacing from I got Ever so slightly changing the pace of the game, reacting to almost everything that Caffeine is throwing at, at his way, punishing the wake up overdrive into an overdrive of their own. Boom! Good stuff from I got Got the corner positioning. Things are looking pretty good for them. And I gotta getting the kill with the uh, two P. I gotta getting a uh, pretty nice lead. The one that can shift at any given moment. Okay, capping. Here we go with. Oh lord! Here we go with the minions. It's. Caffeine minion time. Two minions on deck. Nice 6p from Caffeine. Not letting Hagara try to jump on him. And goes straight to the Legion Driver. Boom! Yeah, boom! Get out of here! Good stuff from Caffeine. Definitely not out of this yet. Hagara just content to block. Doesn't want to overextend. And Caffeine with the Recognization Station taking one round as well. Let's see how this pans out. I got this have the corner positioning looking pretty good. Forces Caffeine to pop the burst, but tries to enter to air to air him, but to air grab him. But yeah, Caffeine was a little bit out of range right there. Unfortunately, made the uh, grab attempt whiff from Hagara. <laughs> Big 2D counter hit from Hagara. Caffeine does not have burst in order to get out of this situation. He has to eat it. And Hagara holding. Actually, Hagara having a burst right now. And gets the grab. One more hit is all that is enough. And it is. Hagara taking the lead. Yo, 2 to 0. 2 to 1. Let's see if Hagara can seal the deal and send Caffeine out of the court, uh, out of the tournament. Which would be uh, pretty good for Hagera. The reason being that the last time that these two fought each other was in grand final of this tournament of the Brojo Cup. And Hagera managed, uh, and Caffeine managed to win. So if Hagera wins it, he will officially have had uh, his revenge. So let's see if he can manage to do so. Yeah, boom! And here we go with... Ooh, I don't know what uh, Caffeine wanted to do right there. Anyways, Caffeine... Wow, with the OTG damage. Caffeine not out of this yet. Takes the lead for this particular match. Not this set. <clears throat> and here we go with the corner pressure. And Caffeine forcing Hagera to press a button right there. <coughs> Good stuff from Caffeine, not out of this yet. Big 2D counter hit from Hagara. Gets the juggle, the safe jump. <clears throat> Here we go with Ah uh, Dominion. Damn, Hagara being extremely patient, but but inevitably gets open. And here we go with the air to air. <coughs> Catherine trying to squeeze a grab. Oh, good lord. How many Roman cancel can one fit in one sequence? And the playoff kick. The kickoff kick for 
the kill caffeine putting one on the board we have a tie ladies and gentlemen let's see who comes out on top we shall see <clears throat> we go with the pressure from caffeine i get a finding the opening though <clears throat> good stuff from i get being very patient this time around and caffeine oh catching that bag dash though <clears throat> Caffeine with the big damage right there, using OTG potential of Jackal and should be able to get the kill. Unless, yeah. But Hagia did not use his burst, probably wants to save it for later when he has a better chance of using it. Let's see how this spins out. Hagia already popping the burst right now. Things are looking pretty bleak for them, not gonna lie. <clears throat> this is gonna finish with the time over, just like the grand finals. That would be fun. Let's see how this spins out. Caffeine getting hit by the minion, hate to see it. God oh lord, the battle of the minion. <laughs> okay, it is back to... Hagera is in dire street. On the verge of getting hit by the negative penalty. Good conversion from Caffeine, gonna get the illusion driver. <coughs> Hmm, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Let's see how this spins out. Uh, Caffeine could have baited that uh, yellow Roman cancel, but I get on it. Ah, this is gonna be a bait though. Yes, it. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, but that being said, man, Caffeine being a little bit. Yeah. Being a little bit too hasty. It being said, he is on the verge of getting it. But one hit is all that is enough, is is more than enough in order to get the momentum back and... Oh lord, I get against the grab, goes for the cross up, gets the jungle and gets the kill! We are going down to the last round of the last match. Ladies and gentlemen, it's always the case between these two, man. Who's gonna get it? We shall see. Battle of Dominion. Ah, yeah, I'm getting hit first. This is not looking good, though. And here we go with... Oh, the pressure. Oh, it is, bro. It really is. Especially these two players. It's always a treat to see them fight against each other. Let me set it ring with the grab in. And again, caffeine. Eliminating Hayala out of the tournament. This is the second time in two bro Druk up in a row. Caffeine taking it. So next up is gonna be Whip Moogie versus Caffeine. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, this. And I'm gonna go get a glass of water. Big perfect from Moogie, man. That was big. Akimi, merci beaucoup pour le, uh, pour le raid. Much appreciated. Merci beaucoup. Bro. I wonder if they consider themselves as rival. I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure. Because they're the two strongest... Uh, the two strongest Jackal players in uh, in the Rojo Cup. And they almost every week participate to the tournament. To the Brojo Cup, that is. So I'm pretty sure they have like some sort of rivalry because they always like make usually they make top like top eight like almost systematically. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they they must have like some sort of rivalry. Red la Brojo Cup, eh ouais gros. Merci beaucoup. Anyways, there we go on to the next battle. Currently, Moogie has the uh, has the lead, uh, but it is definitely not something that is guaranteed. And here we go with. Caffeine getting the kill on the second round. Let's see how this pans out. Okay. Moogie finding the opening, but getting hit by the 2K2D. 
I've been definitely wanting to put Mugi in the corner where he cannot move. Big kickoff kicks uh, in the corner. Mugi going for the cross up. <clears throat> ah, Mugi just got hit by the 2D counter. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, unfortunately for Cappy, they dropped their combo. Pretty sure they did. Big reward to uh, invite and to punish the grab a temper there from Cappy. Here we go with the jump in. Ah, caffeine using yeah the armored version of the minions in order to make sure that they are unkillable for the time being. Big grab and caffeine actually taking the lead, yo. One, two, zero. Let's see how this turns out. And on to the next battle. Louis going for the FRS goes for the extension wild assault. Again getting grabbed. And man, capping with the fake cross up. It is impossible to block that. Big uh, kickoff. Hit straight into the legend driver for the kill. Go! Boom! Good stuff from Caffeine taking the lead. And on to the next battle. Nice air to her from Mui. Getting the uh getting the lead. And Caffeine managing to get the 2D in. Getting the pressure, finding the opening. Good snail right there from Mugi. Oh lord, is he gonna get hit? I think he is. Or not. <laughs> Good lord. Mugi wanting, yeah, the bait on. Oh no, you hate to see it. Fully charged whirlwind in the corner. Caffeine unfortunately could not outlast it and just fell down on it to his death to his death let's see how this spins out these are looking pretty good for Mugi. no entire though big punish right there to k well decent punish okay let's see how this spins out uh Mugi getting hit right on his way down onto the minion and caffeine just content. Ah, unfortunately got hit by the sickles right there. Ah, caffeine on the verge of getting hit by the negative penalty though. Nice block on the face cross up from Mugi. And this time around gets hit by the cross up. Is this, are you for real? Good lord, caffeine bringing it back right at the end, preventing Mugi from using his uh his burst as well, man. Taking a pretty steep lead, 2-0, to zero. what is Mugi gonna do, y'all? Caffeine playing out of his mind right now. Let's see how this spins out. No one home. Get good use of the sickle right there to hit Caffeine out of the air. Oh, big 6 HS right there. Ooh, I thought he baited the burst. Ooh, wow! Nice cross up right there from Mugi. No entire though. And here we go with the 2k2d and big use jump in from caffeine. Goes for this fake cross up, but this time around Mugi knows what's up. I think this is gonna be a punish. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. Good stuff from Mugi finally. Damn caffeine on fire. I know, right? It's super strong today. Holy freaking lord. And here we go with the closest. Caffeine definitely filling himself. Yeah, definitely just wants to eliminate Mugi right now. Gets the grab. Goes for another grab. Goes for the low this time around, but Mugi... Oh, manages to squeeze in a grab. And gets... Yeah, catches Caffeine pressing some buttons. Goes straight for the snail for the wall break. Ah! Oh, good awareness from... Moogie getting the punish on the um Oh Lord and Moogie getting his first match finally. Okay, let's see. Is Moogie gonna be able to make a comeback? We shall see. The one the 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 player who wins at this match will get another shot at Nage. Who is comfortably sitting in grand finals right now on the winner's side. <clears throat> Let's see how this spins out. 
and caffeine with the conversion station straight into the illusion driver for the wall break wow we're not afraid waking up with the overdrive boom ah uh again -oh. here we go with Nice recognition from Caffeine, seeing that Moogie was going to go for the rate war and grabbing him out of the air. We are going down to the match point, to the set point. Is Caffeine going to be able to seal the deal or is Moogie going to bring it back? We shall see. Ah, a little bit too far to get the hit with the 2HS. Oh lord! Caffeine waking up with the DP though. It's a 2S, yeah. Ah, nice cross up from Caffeine. Drops a combo though. Goes for the double hit point, guard point though. Okay, nice stuff from Moogie. Working on a new angle, I can see. Ooh, that was uh, so scary. Moogie just content to just. Yeah, not overextend. Definitely does not want to get hit by this. And the cojones on this man, not enough to kill. Obviously, oh, it's for the tap dust. Is that going to be enough? It is. Moogie going down to the last freaking map. Oh, actually, it's not over. <clears throat> Moogie staying alive. <clears throat> One more chance for Moogie. He absolutely needs this match if he wants to uh, have another shot at Nage in Grand Finals. Uh, nice big cross up. Ooh, this is looking pretty bad. Ah, uh, and reward. Uh, will it reach in time? No! You hate to see it. Moogie getting hit straight by time. This is gonna be the death. This is gonna be the kill caffeine of the Browder Cup. Let's see how this spins out. Nage Moogie versus caffeine. Here we go! Nagia has been playing absolutely pristine during the, the entirety of this tournament. Wouldn't surprise me if he takes it all, but then again, Caffeine is a no slouch whatsoever. Has won uh, several Brojo Cup in the past. Has won against uh, Nagia in the past as well, if I'm correct. So definitely not out of the realm of possibilities. Let's just see how uh, Caffeine will manage this matchup. And here we go with... Oh, Nagi getting hit by the 2K2D right there. I kept trying to go for the grab, but Nagi is sniffing it out. Bag dashes casually and punishes it accordingly. That being said, Caffeine found a way in, goes for the cross-up, gets the juggle, and the side switch as well to keep Nagi in the corner. <clears throat> Caffeine straight into the Elision Driver for the kill! First round goes to Caffeine. <clears throat> now to the next battle. See how this spins out. Nage. Ooh, getting hit by all sorts of minionery right there. Okay, good knockdown from Nage. Goes with the dive kick. Gets the side switch again with the weight. And here we go with a big 4S counter hit. With the wig. And Nage on the verge of... Ooh, getting hit by the standing H. Yeah, Nage probably going to hold on to his burst. At least burst a little bit later, I suppose. He does have full burst and full tension bar. Nice stuff from Nage just preventing Caffeine from... From, um, from trying to... From trying to run away. Good sending uh, K right there from Nage to dispatch. Get rid to dispose of the uh, Dominion. That being said, Jacko is not the only character in the game to have minions, and uh, now he definitely makes good use of Little Faust. Here we go with the overdrive. Good stuff from Nagi. Oh, went for the closest, but Caffeine unfortunately used the. Wow, are you serious? Good stuff from Caffeine in time to actually get the grab in as well. Oh, goes for the tab dust. Another dust for the well rate. That dispens out. Nice 2P right there from Nugget. Oh, 
more punishing the freaking yellow room and cancel first match goes to nage this is looking pretty good for him not gonna lie let's see how this spins out and on to the next battle big counter hit right there for nage forces caffeine to pop the burst yes the jump in with the syringe the syringe Ah oh, man, now you're just keeping caffeine in the corner, man. Using all sorts of shenanigans, getting, oh lord, running us. Steamrolling on caffeine right now. Nice uh, back dash though from, uh, from caffeine. Managing to get the juggle. Keep the pressure going on, but the Abare of Nage was the correct answer. Nage taking the first round, the second match. Let's see if caffeine can adjust. We shall see. Ooh, Lord, nice use of the guard points right there from Caffeine. If they didn't, they would have hit, gotten hit by the Spear of Nage. Of Nage, the Spear of Nage. <laughs> the Spear of Faust. Big Legion Driver right there from Caffeine. Gonna get the wall break and the hard knockdown. Ah, Lord. Nage getting hit by the Standing H carrot there. One more hit is all that Caffeine needs, but things are looking pretty bleak. Now you did get a, a grab. Ooh, Caffeine tried to go for a back dash. But yeah, Nagi definitely on point with that as well. Goes straight for the wall break. Good lord, is Nagi gonna make a comeback? Ah, uh, lord, that was so freaking close. Nagi just content to just. Ah, uh, lord. Forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. And unfortunately for Nagi, he was a little bit too greedy. Not gonna lie. His greediness. Uh, yeah, was the reason of his demise in the previous, uh, the previous round. Anyways, here we go, the relentless pressure from Nage, man, looking pretty good. Goes for the spear, wants to keep the bomb on Caffeine at all times. Goes for the air to air to keep Caffeine on the ground. Look at the conversion station. This man knows no limit. Good luck. Oh, and catches the freaking reverse. Attempt from Captain and punishes in well accordingly with a perfect good lord and Nage the god <laughs> Nage the Faust god bro this is crazy good stuff good stuff a yeah, potential final match of the evening Nage with the lead two to zero let's see if Captain can bring it back we shall see. Wow, Nage with the command grab right into the block string? Are you serious? Why? Oh, Nage, man, playing out of his mind. Goes for the command grab, man. What is Caffeine gonna do? Caffeine definitely gonna pop that overdrive eventually. I don't know why, but I just feel like... Oh, wow. Straight into the overdrive. I think we're going on to the to a tournament point, ladies and gentlemen. Good lord, look at this. Kaboom. Yep, we are. This is a tournament point. Nage has been playing absolutely flawlessly from the beginning until the end of this tournament. Is he going to be able to seal the deal right here, right now with this tournament point? For now, things are looking pretty bleak for him. I'm going to lie. But nice back dash from Nage. Going to keep Caffeine in the corner. He's got Meteor. Ah, got hit by the uh, sending H uh, S though from Caffeine. A little mistime there, the, the 2D that is from Cafe. See how this spins out. Oh lord, and the side switch from Nage. Almost getting the free. What is happening? What are you supposed to do? And freaking no! Not like this, Cafe. Just stressing out and just. Yeah, just.